Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. It's time, it's time, it's time once again for Tank's Cooks. Mm -hmm. Meatloaf muffins, meatloaf muffins, mum yum yum, yum yum yum, meatloaf muffins. All right, this recipe was sent to me by Dave Del Cole. Now, he sent me a recipe from Rachel Ray about meatloaf muffins with barbecue sauce. Now, the only difference is I'm going to stick with my own re uh, meatloaf recipe. It's been handed down from my grandmother. So I'm gonna use that recipe instead, but I like the idea. So I got the uh, the uh, muffin pan. Do you know the muffin pan? The muffin pan. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I uh, spray each individual muffin area with some nice cooking spray. Beef. One pound of ground beef. One pound of ground beef. And we're gonna put it into this mixing bowl. Bowl. Into the mixing bowl. Boom. All right, into the mixing bowl. We'll punch this up a little bit. Break it up a little bit. Breaking up the meat, breaking up the meat. Now we'll add our spices, our usual assortment of spices, which means bum 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 accent garlic powder and pepper lemon pepper so the next step will be to add some, also add some of this uh Onion soup mix. And then we're going to add some uh, tomato sauce. Keep a little bit in reserve. Then we're going to need a cup of breadcrumbs. One cup of breadcrumbs. Always like the Italian style breadcrumbs best. Here we go, one cup of breadcrumbs and some steak sauce, a little bit of steak sauce, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. And two eggs. Of course, we'll be using our easy egg cracker. Yes, it makes cutting and cracking eggs so much easier. I wish it would come off easier. All right, that didn't crack. Now, why did that crack so weirdly? All right, there's our easy egg cracker. Now we gotta, well, we gotta mix this up. Mix it up real good. So I'll get some uh, gloves. Cause you don't really want to touch this meat when it gets this ooshy, ichi, wooshy, wooshy, washy. And uh, well, let's mix this up. Mixing up the meatloaf meat. La 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 la. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spin around, turn around. Mix it up real good. Hmm. Spinning it around, spinning it around. Mixing it up real good. Mixing it up now. Mixing it up now. Mixing up the. Meatloaf meat. This glove keeps falling off. It's driving me nuts now. 
mixing up the meatloaf meat. Just stir it around, shake it around. Make sure every nook and cranny gets into the crannies, and grannies, and bannies, and don't go too insane. All right. We'll put it in the, the corners first. A little chunk in each spot. And you know, when you make meatloaf, at least when I make meatloaf, I always like the end pieces better. They come out crispy and delicious. Well, now it's gonna be all end pieces because it's in a meatloaf pan. Don't forget, mild meatloaf, mild meatloaf, don't be a loaf, make some meatloaf, don't be a loaf, make me meatloaf muffins. Here we go. Now we'll just take the uh, little bit of this extra tomato sauce and put it on top of each muffin. Meatloaf muffin, meatloaf muffin. Let's see how this fucking thing comes out. Meatloaf muffins, meatloaf muffins. Let's rub it in and draw it out. There we go, rub it in. Rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. All right, now, we're not gonna cook this right away, you know, because we had to let it chill in the uh, refrigerator for a couple of hours, so let's let this thing chill out. And uh, we're gonna cover it with a uh, nice piece of aluminum foil. Let's put these in the oven. Now, what I would normally do is I would normally cook my meatloaf at uh, uh, 375 or 350 for an hour, but uh, this recipe says 375 for 35 minutes. So, oh, they're done, they're done, they are definitely done. Mm -mm -mm. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this down here and let it sit for 10 minutes, and then we'll be able to. All right, let's pop these out of the uh, meatloaf, uh, out of the, the uh. Muffin pan and see how they came out. Look at that. Looks pretty good actually. So we'll get ready to serve this up and to plate the meal. Meatloaf muffins. Meatloaf muffins. Don't need a stuffing when you got the meatloaf muffins. Time to plate the meal. Well, here's our meatloaf muffins. Look how they came out. We'll get a nice meatloaf muffin. We'll put it on our plate with our mashed potatoes and our uh, corn. We'll cut the meatloaf muffin uh, in half. Time to plate the meal. Of course, we'll get some gravy. 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 And now we'll see how these meatloaf muffins came out. <laughs> tasty. Definitely tasty. Got a little bit of a good crust on it. Yeah, nice change of pace from the regular meatloaf. And this, of course, was sent to me by David Del Call. So thank you. And if you have any other recipes to send me, like Dave did, like Dave Del Call did, uh, email it to me to njtank99 at gmail.com. And of course, don't forget, manja manja, bon appetit, let's eat.